New information tonight. A juvenile detention facility in Madison has seven days to close its doors. It comes just hours after dozens of people in Madison urged the city council to revoke the business license for a sequel after multiple escapes. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Nasha Sherman. And I'm Dan Schaefer. Way 31's Cody Fisher is live right now in Madison working to find out what happens to the kids in the facility now. Cody? Dan and Naja, we know that the Department of Youth Services for the state of Alabama does have some sort of plan in place for the teenage boys that call Sequel home, but their attorney who was at the meeting tonight didn't have specifics for what that plan actually is. Now, right now, we know that Sequel houses 58 boys 12 to 18 years old, and dozens of people who spoke at the meeting tonight are happy that those kids will have to find a different place to go. Greg Travis lives two miles from the Sequel Detention Facility, formerly known as Three Springs. With the history of escapes the facility has, it's really concerning. He says when there are escapes, he won't hesitate to use force. I will protect my family, um, but I don't want to be put in that position. Several people who spoke at the public hearing on Wednesday night felt the same way. Every single person wanted the same thing. It needs to be moved. Two years ago, Wednesday, Two teens escaped from the facility. They're charged with killing 61 year old Van Johnson behind the Publix on County Line Road. In the last year alone, there have been three escapes, according to Madison Police. In April of 2018, the City Council voted to renew the facility's business license pending security updates. Sequel cooperated but failed to install a security camera in the area where the three teens escaped from just three weeks ago. At the meeting, Sequel asked the city council to continue working with them and to not revoke their license. Everyone can win. Everyone concerned can be respected and understood and hopefully satisfied. We can do, with, we can do this without a fight. City Council President Steve Smith told me the time for working with Sequel is over. The council revoked their business license and even shortened the time they have to do it from 30 days to only seven. Well, seven days may seem short if you look at it from tonight for the next seven days, but in reality, they've had a year and a half to, to work on that issue, and we've said enough's enough. An attorney for the city of Madison told me that Sequel has the ability to challenge this decision and they fully expect that they will do that. Now, a spokesman for Sequel told me that the co corporation is disappointed by the city's decision uh, and right now they have to go back and reevaluate their options moving forward. Reporting live in Madison, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News. Development. Thank you, Cody. Way 31 has emailed the Department of Youth Services to find out where the teens will be taken. We'll let you know what they have to say as soon as we hear back. Sequel is currently being sued by the family of a man police say was killed by two juveniles who escaped from the detention center. Jacoby Carter and Aaron Jones are charged with capital murder after police say they robbed and killed Van Johnson after escaping from Sequel back in 2017. Last week, Johnson's family filed a lawsuit against that facility. Carter is scheduled to go on trial November 18th. The trial date for Jones has not been released.